multiple lawsuits going on around the Texas uh, abortion ban. Again, as a reminder, this ban is not one that is um, that is enforced by the state. It essentially deputizes people all around the country. You don't have to be from Texas, where you can sue anybody who in any way enables an abortion that takes place after six weeks from conception in uh, in Texas, marked by the fake thing of a um, a fetus a fetal heartbeat. Incidentally, they peg it around six weeks. There's no fetus, and there's no heartbeat at that moment. Yes, you have an embryo that has electrical impulses that are. Uh, that sound like a heartbeat when you translate them into sound. And by the way... Uh, uh, which you need to translate into because there's not enough going on in this uh, embryo for there to be a heartbeat. The Before this law, 90% of the abortions performed in Texas were after this six-week mark because it's really difficult, one, to know you're pregnant by that time, and two, to get an appointment. And now that that timelines also truncated that means that it'll be even less than that 10 percent of allowance and, and, so and, it's nearly an entire ban because you'd have to be like on it on it on it and be able to find a clinic that can do and it and the, the clinics are not they're, going to be around be because you're going to be afraid and, of uh, i mean you just right they're going to be afraid of getting they the, might be sued into existence because it, of that very bounty system and exactly. the ones that are around will be so like handcuffed and non-functional and backlogged that you're not going to be able to get one so there's one doctor is subject of two different lawsuits one which is specifically to bring up the constitutionality of this the other is from like a some uh, lunatic uh, charlatan outside of state um this the uh, department of justice also suing the state of texas um over this law here is governor greg abbott whose numbers are tanking in texas trying on with fox uh news is chris wallace trying to address the fact that also in addition to this being an abortion ban it, there is no uh exceptions for um for threats to the life of the, uh, the mother or uh in the case of rape is it reasonable to say to somebody who was the victim of rape and might not understand that they are pregnant, uh, you know, until six weeks? Well, don't worry about it because we're going to eliminate rape as a problem in the state of Texas. Well, there's multiple things I have to say in answer to this. But the first thing, obviously, uh, is that survivors of sexual assault, uh, they deserve support, care, and compassion. Uh, and Texas is stepping up to make sure that we provide that by uh, signing a law and creating in the governor's office uh, a sexual assault survivors task force. Uh, but separately from that, Chris, I got to point out uh, about the ways that I have fought to uh, go uh, uh, to arrest and apprehend and uh, try to eliminate rape. I, I sought the death penalty. But, but, but uh, Governor, Governor, excuse, of, Governor, excuse me, because we are running out of time. There were more than 15,000 rapes in 2019 when you were governor. Uh, let me just ask this question. A state representative, Republican state representative, is, says that he's going to offer a new measure that would restore the exception to the Texas abortion law for victims of rape and incest. If that came to your desk, will you sign it or not? Well, we got to go back, Chris, to what the reason was why the law was passed in the first place. Uh, and, and the goal uh, is to uh, protect the lives uh, of every child with a heartbeat. Uh, and so we're, in, we're working to achieve that goal. Chris, I, I got to point this out. Including Chris, the that child is, of, a, this, of this, a rape. This, this goal is consistent uh, with what the United States Supreme Court has written, uh, and that is states uh, have the ability to make sure that we protect the health and safety of both the mother and the child, and that's what we are seeking to do here. And I have to add this, and that is Texas just provided more than $100 million in funding for pregnancy centers across the state of Texas to help those uh, who uh, but, want to make sure that so, they will so be able to just carry to a child. Just to lock this but, down, are you saying, sir, I don't mean to interrupt, but are you saying that you will not sign uh, an exception for rape and incest? Well, at first, I got to tell you, Chris, you're, you're making a hypothetical that it's not going to happen because that bill is not going to reach. 
Oh. Oh, the hypothetical is that the bill's not going to reach my de- desk, as opposed to the hypothetical of like, we're going to get rid of rape. Yeah, but he created a task force. We got a task force. We're going to step things, up do on we have rape. a task force on the whole rape issue? So those 19,000, once the ta- task force is deployed, I I'm, I'm imagine we're going to see that number come down. And don't worry, I mean, he put on a cape and he prosecuted some rapes, even though there were, what Chris Wallace pointed out, 15,000 documented rapes in the state of Texas like that. at that point. But So maybe you're just not prosecuting hard enough, Greg. The, um, the, the bottom line is, the issue here should not be an exception uh, for uh, rape or incest in this instance, um, because we're talking about the sovereignty of, of, of women having sovereignty over their bodies. But they cannot, they cannot um, maintain this position that an embryo with an electrical impulse is a, a child, a person, they can't maintain that um, that illusion if they allow for uh, exceptions here. They have to say that th- their argument is that every embryo with an electrical charge is one of God's children. You know who might be Regardless. one of God's children, too, is like perhaps the child that was raped and is now pregnant. <laughs> or the children at the border who Greg Abbott has no care for whatsoever it's fine if they're born into the world but once they're born into the world you're on your own buddy you know you're not just on your own we're going to also oversee the human rights abuses of you and relish in it right you're born and i'll make sure that you suffer once you're born those are the politics of greg abbott and the republican party folks there's more of what you've just saw where that came from that's if you hit the subscribe and like button Thank you. Really, thank you.